to Beer 30. I'm Greg. This guy is playing with his phone. I'm sharing the link out that's letting people know that we are live now. We're now going from one viewer, hey, two, three, it, it, triple digits already, just like triple that. Triple digits, all right. I mean, uh, nearing a million views right now. Well, that's good to hear. So let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, I, I think we got a pretty decent beer this, well, we'll see. Uh, so I'm Greg, he's Josh. <laughs> We're looking at a beer from Boulevard. Boulevard. Uh, let's go to the... There we go. Here, let's, it's called Easy Sport Recreation Ale. It's... Um, the, the cool thing about this, I guess kind of cool thing... So, Craft Brewery. So, this, I actually got into an article here. You can go ahead and have that one on. This one. Okay. Um, there was a whole article about craft breweries starting to do low-calorie beers. Oh, really? And I know last week I was at uh, Dewey's Pizza, which is a really good pizza place, uh, if anyone's around the St. Louis area. Look, look at this. It's pretty, really, really <laughs> it is light. Pretty clear. Yeah. So I had uh, this beer from Dogfish Head called, um, oh, now I... <laughs> mighty mighty IPA lightly okay. mighty you know what let me get the right name low cow dogfish and slightly oh, yeah. mighty low cow IPA okay so I thought it was interesting because it was like a 99 calorie beer huh. um, but you could tell the flavor was not as much as a normal right so crap. this one it's um, what we, it's an ale. Yeah, it says it's uh, it's classified as a uh, American blonde ale. It's got it actually says on here uh, beer with tangerine peel and sea salt. Huh. I would not have picked up either one of those flavors out of this. Uh, tangerine peel. Yeah, Maybe get, get a little Maybe bit. Get a little bit. Now, sea get salt a little bit of tartness. Yeah. Uh, it's only ninety nine calories. That is crazy. So. Craft beer drinking me. You're uh, I've, I've you need more it. of these. <laughs> it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's just from the beer. Oh, let's, okay. Let's not. Let's not say that. But um, it's low calorie uh, it's, pizza as well. <laughs> the, from Dewey's. Yeah, the, the pizza low buffalo carb. chicken pizza was not <laughs> low carb or anything. I'm sure they have gluten free, but that still doesn't. You Take probably the calories away. you probably said to yourself, "Well, I'm having low calorie yeah. beer. I can eat another couple slices. Let's have an appetizer too. <laughs> Why not? Come on, bring it on. So, it's up for dessert. Yeah. So there's probably a good. Um, I don't know. There's. Uh, I read an article. I can't find the actual article. Well, actually, I can find it, but it's locked. You know, you ever get on some of those websites like Washington Post? Yeah. You see the article, and then it disappears, and then there's a thing. You can read this article if you yeah. pay. So I'm like, eh, it's not well, worth it. Well, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch does that to an extent, yeah. too. They ask you to do some survey or something. I re well, at least if you do a survey, I can yeah, deal with that. But I'm not paying anything for a newspaper. What? If, you know. Yeah. Am I made of money? A dollar for an article, I can get a whole paper for that. Yeah. Huh? And I don't want to read it. Anyway. So, low calorie, it's 4.1%, uh, yeah. 9 IBUs, which is, you know, that is low. I, I wonder if uh, other guy, Bauman, could have picked that, out. picked that out. I don't know. This is really good, though. You know, I was just looking on Beer Advocate here, and it just really seems like no matter what beer you look at, whenever you try to get, gauge what other people think of it, it's always, almost every beer we look up is somewhere in that, like, 3.5 range. Yeah. Well... And really, a 3.5 on Beer Advocate is pretty decent. <laughs> it's classified as good, yeah. Because there, there, there's always the, there's a bunch of, oh, this is all, this isn't real beer, and this isn't that. Right. And then other people are like, it's amazing, you know, for for low calorie, it's got lots of flavor. And um, for me, I think I'm kind of uh, in that range. I think it's a good low calorie beer only low calorie beer that 
I know of that I can think of is Mick Ultra. Yeah. And it's a very light, watery. It doesn't have much flavor. This has a little tanginess, mm -hmm. you know. I wonder if this is going to be readily available in a lot of like, grocery stores or anything like that. Where did you say you got it? I got this at um, at Friar Tuck, the, the big liquor store. Okay. Around here, it probably will be available pretty easily. In the St. Louis area? Or in the Missouri St. Louis area. area Missouri, in Missouri. Um, and I bet it does come to a lot of grocery stores and stuff. Yeah. It's but, very easy drinking and very refreshing. Yeah. and Yeah, it's unlike, you know, some of those other ones we've had recently, the summer-flavored beers yeah. that we've had, the, the Natter Days and the... Uh, what else did we have recently? But those are like... The probably a lot more calories, but they're like easy, light, right? You know, low, low alcohol. Yeah, this is I enjoy. I, it. I'm. I I know I use the term lawnmower beer a lot in our mm -hmm. reviews, but that's what this is. It's it's perfect. Yeah. Lawnmower beer, uh, summertime around the mm -hmm. pool beer, around I mean, the grill, around the grill. Yeah. yeah, it's just very light. It's not gonna get you. Well, you. You gotta drink a lot of these <laughs> to get loaded. Yeah. It's four point one, so it's it's really along the lines as a nat light, bud light, like right. the that type. But it's it yeah. packs pretty good flavor, though. I agree. Yeah, um, I'd rate it higher than a three point five. Which yeah, is, yeah, I would too. Better than good. Yeah, better than good. Would you say great? <laughs> uh, for yeah, I mean, hmm. you know, I'm I'm hesitant to say that because last week. What did we have last week? And oh, we were... uh, it was a couple weeks ago that that Bud Light lemon tea oh, that we had, yeah. which I've had several of since then. By have the way, you? because I bought like a six pack of it whenever I was down at Lake the Ozarks, and I finished them off. I oh, mean, so you already had one or two. You enjoy it, but yeah, but I I, I think we said what A minus. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's a little lower than that. I think, yeah, I'd I say don't know. That I'd give this like a a B plus probably. Yeah, I I think I'm gonna put this in an A. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna stay too. I think oh, okay. I think I'm not gonna change my opinion. You know, sometimes we go into our next show and then I'm like, you know, maybe I don't. But you know, it is nice to have that, uh, like like you said, tanginess. It's kind of refreshing. It's not sweet. It's very light. Yeah, Good yeah, crisp beer. So there you go. Somebody who's a Macro beer drinker would probably oh, be able to handle this, it. Like, this is a good crossover beer. Yeah, good crossover beer. If you want to get started, <laughs> if you want to get started on drinking, <laughs> <laughs> it's an introductory beer. Introduction to drinking. Although not, aren't, they're owned by the Bel Belgi Belgians. Yeah, are they right? The Boulevard. Boulevard, aren't they? They're owned by who? In Bev? Uh, do. Uh, do <sighs> Oh, I do I don't know. not do. I don't know. Why do you have to ask questions? You don't. <laughs> you you ask it. Boulevard is owned by du Duvel. Duvel. Morg. Yeah. yeah Morgot. <laughs> Since 2013. Wow. Yeah, I think we actually put that in one of our videos. Probably. There's a lot of drinking videos out yeah, there. Yeah, Belgian firm. So there you go. Cool. <laughs> so, whatever. Yeah, good beer. Good beer. Try it out. Um, uh, check out our we'll other videos. <laughs> check out our other video. Hey, subscribe to YouTube our YouTube channel, please. I don't know if I say that very much. Probably not. Um, we've been stuck at like two hundred for a while. You know, bump <laughs> That's us up right. a little. Yeah, yeah. We need some support. Yeah, a little support, please. Yeah. Please. Okay. Check out our other videos on this channel if you're already here, uh, beer30.tv. We will see you next time. See ya.